ClickUp Brain Review, AI Revolution for Project Management. In this video, we're going to be discussing ClickUp and its brand new AI feature called ClickUp Brain. ClickUp Brain is, as I said, an AI revolution for project management software because this brain is one AI that will allow you to easily cruise through your project management workings. Okay, as we know, ClickUp is one of the most popular project management softwares out there. And I'm going to be reviewing everything in great detail and depth. And I'm going to be showing you what ClickUp Brain actually does, what features it brings you, and is it actually worth it? I'm going to be bringing you the AI writers, AI automators, AI project managers, and a whole lot more. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now to start things off, do check the link in the description below because that will lead you to the sign up page for ClickUp. Okay, we're going to sign up with ClickUp and then we're going to use ClickUp Brain. So check the link in the description below. Now, once you've accessed that, we're going to go into try ClickUp Brain for free. Now it's going to bring us to the sign up or login section. Now, if you don't have an account, do make sure to go ahead and create one right now. It's totally free and you're going to get it in a jiffy okay but if you do have an account you're going to come straight to your workspace this is your general click of workspace where you go through all your free project management ventures okay so i'm going to go ahead to my workspace now here's my workspace all right it's pretty empty so we're going to fill it up and how are we going to fill it up we're going to be using the ClickUp brain okay and i'm going to be reviewing everything as we go so to start using ClickUp brain what you're going to do is you're going to come up here where it says use ClickUp ai so this is basically ClickUp brain you're going to click on it and here it's going to start giving you these prompts so ask ai to find or create anything enhance ClickUp's ai knowledge with docs so you can basically let the ai know about your business or your team or your project whatever you're working on in ClickUp you can let the ClickUp Brain AI know about it. And once you've gone through all of that, here is, you know, your tasks. So ask about your task. What tasks am I working on? What should I work on next? What tasks are popular? And then there's ideas for writing, you know, and you have different niches of writing. It could be writing for popular design, email, engineering, HR, IT, marketing, product, and a whole lot more. You can write with AI, improve some writing or any other thing. So let's say, I'm going to go ahead and write, create a task for me about engineering. Okay, you can write something like that, enter it. And obviously, once you write that, AI will go through and see if they can go ahead and assist you in creating those tasks okay so here you can see it says here's a suggestion for a task you can create task title design optimization for project x then there's the whole detail there's subtask attachments and due dates so to create this i'm going to go into my project workspace and now that we're in our project workspace i'm going to go into my board and in my board what we're going to do is we're going to start creating these tasks so to create a task as you can see over here on the right hand side we're simply going to first of all go ahead and here are our tasks. I'm going to click on add tasks. Here you have your title. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste it. There's our task. So now once you've created your task, you can go inside the task. First of all, we have our description. You can go ahead and copy the description off of Brain AI's, uh, you know, uh, prompt and repertoire. Click on add description. And there we go. So once you've added these, you can see that you have a task title, you have description, and then moving on, you have more things like subtasks, attachment, references, due dates, assignees, tags, priorities, and a whole lot more. Then you can come here and write, improve my writing. Okay. You can go ahead and write improve my writing and it says, sure, I'd be happy to help you improve your writing. Could you please provide me with a specific piece of text? So. You can go ahead and create a task. Uh, let's say I'm going to call it HR. And uh, you could create a task of this specific thing that they gave you. Pretty incredible, right? Then moving on, I'm going to go ahead to the AI again. So you can go ahead and keep asking it more questions about the optimization of the project. Like what is you know needed in this task? 
what is more done in this task what is this task actually about all of those can be accessed through the brain ai so as you can see it gives you the task creation you know this task was created by john Leahy. status update the task is marked as complete and then the task involved conducting a thorough analysis of the current design specifications for project x identifying areas for improvement proposing changes aligned with sustainability goals collaborating with the engineering team and documenting potential impacts on the project timeline and budget so as you can see it helps you summarize the whole task and then with creating a task for something like this you can create a document of this as well so if you want to go ahead and send the document or share it with any of your team you can do that as well now moving on ai can do even more for you this is just something i'm showing you from the top of everything you can generate actual templates okay so the tone of voice for a template let's say i'm going to go with professional creativity let's keep it high and uh, I'm going to go with a bug report, okay? Let's say I want a template for a bug report, and I'm going to click on Generate. And once we do that, look at this. It creates a whole bug report template that you can use in whatever retrospect or aspect you want to use it in. It's pretty fun stuff to have by your side when you're using a software like this for yourself. Now, the good part about ClickUp's very own AI is always hands-on information. You get everything with individual teamwork and a whole lot of more briefing than you would do individually yourself, okay? That's what the AI brings you, and everyone in your workspace can use this AI. That's the fun part about it. It's not just you, it's everyone, and it's on the free plan. You don't have to do a payment or you don't have to upgrade the plan. ClickUp's Brain AI is very much free, and trust me, that is a winner. Then, before moving on, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss videos like this in the future. Okay, so moving on, obviously this is just uh, templates that I'm working on. Let's go on boards. Let's go on boards and I'm uh, going to go ahead and ask it some things. So let's say I want to get some team updates about the boards, you know, so give me something regarding this person so you can see that this person has given no updates in the last 24 hours or you can go ahead and ask ai make a calendar view showing all tasks okay so you can go ahead and do that. Creating a calendar view in ClickUp is, uh, you know, it's going to give you the whole scouring through. It's going to give you the points. It's going to first tell you the ways how you can do it. And obviously, it's pretty simple. You're just going to switch the views. But you can also go ahead and ask it to create a task or view for you just in this way. So it says navigate to your workspace, select views. Obviously, you have views over here and you can choose calendar and you can customize your calendar accordingly. Now, as we can see, my tasks are already added on the calendar through the AI, which is pretty incredible. And they also give you keywords to check it out, like check out the calendar view, your calendar view URL to see all your tasks scheduled over time. So this is a type of code that you can write in the AI. So let's say I'm going to write check out calendar view okay and uh check out let's say i'm gonna write check out the calendar and tell me budgeting okay i'm gonna write that and uh what happens is it shows you the budgeting task and how the timing for the budgeting task actually works, what's going on in the budgeting task, and a whole lot more. So basically, ClickUp's Brain AI will give you everything that you need. It's basically ChatGPT, but for ClickUp, you know? So if you've used softwares like ChatGPT, Bard, or any other chat-based AIs, you will understand this pretty quickly. And trust me, it's a great venture to have with yourself. It's a great companion to have with yourself because the features far outweigh the cons and trust me it's absolutely incredible so one con that i would like to share is that click of ai will not go ahead and give you the whole structure so basically if i were to go ahead and ask it i can't find the automation tool can you 
automate me Google uh, Gmail to ClickUp. So if I give it tasks like this, it won't be able to do it. It will tell you ways how to do it, but it won't actually do it for you. So as you can see, it's going to say to automate Gmail to ClickUp, you can use the ClickUp Chrome extension. See, it, it will just give you steps to do it. So that's one good thing. Like it's doing something. It's going to give you ways. It's going to, you know, further out help you with the help articles with Gmail integration, give you links to check on. So those are the things that you can do, but it won't actually do it for you. So that's the one downside to this. But apart from that, I find ClickUp's Brain AI very amazing. And the best part is, again, as I stated, that you can use it on the free platform, which is pretty nice and pretty incredible. And you can use it right now by checking the link in the description below for yourself. And please do make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if you used ClickUp's Brain AI. Tell me how do you feel about it and how often do you use ClickUp? What do you use it for? Do you use it for project management? Do you use it for CRM, SEO? What kind of tools do you use ClickUp for? That's pretty much about it though. I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.